Can you repeat what you said? I didn't quite hear it. I said go away. Oh, okay, alright. If there's one thing you should never do in Sea of Thieves, it's underestimating solo players. While strength in numbers is definitely the name of the game, many a solo slooper has been forged in the fires of fury, and as such, they make for formidable foes. That's a lot of Fs to start off the episode, and there's a good reason for that. Confusion. Wait, that doesn't actually work out. Listen, something funny was going on on the server, and to find out why a ship was sailing around with a key to the Fort of Fortune, I had to take some heads. But I am getting ahead of myself. This voyage actually started off on a completely different note. A couple weeks ago, I was a bit behind on my ledger progress, and since it was early in the morning, the only way for me to catch up was by playing solo. A commodity run should boost my ledger enough to secure those sweet, sweet cosmetics, but that server, for how early in the morning it was, had been incredibly active. I was not trying to step on anyone's toes, but when that ship with the fourth key occupied the very outpost I wanted to sell it, my interest had peaked. And wouldn't you know it, the neighboring fort had absolutely been cleared just recently, with a bunch of loot still laying around. I brought my ship back, thinking, I could snatch a few free pieces of loot, but here's what's confusing. The vault was open. People running away with the fort key is not the most unusual thing ever, but how can the vault be open if the key is still on that ship? This just didn't make any sense. A lot of reasonably valuable loot was left behind with nobody but that stationary vessel around, though it wasn't stationary any longer. I had grabbed most of the items I cared for by the time they set sail, and I couldn't help but feel like they were tracking me. For now, I decided to sail through an NPC-infested route at the edge of the storm in order to get away and sell my loot, but this mystery still heavily weighed on my mind. Even while I was selling, that ship was conspicuously stalking about, so once I had secured my ledger cosmetics, I decided to investigate. There were two forts in my immediate vicinity, with the key holder having gone further south. I went to Hidden Spring Keep to check if a similar situation had taken place here, but it didn't appear as though this fort had been active. Kraken's Watchtower, on the other hand, still had a few items I could scoop up, so it would be a waste not to go and do that. Though I wasn't given a heck of a lot of time because the key owners were on their way back. I grabbed one of the Stronghold gunpowder kegs in anticipation for a fight, but I knew that just sinking them would not give me the answers I was looking for. I was dying to talk to these people just to find out what has transpired on the server, but for now, my plan was to lay low. Go away. What? Can you repeat that? Can you repeat what you said? I didn't quite hear it. I said go away. Oh, okay. All right. Their secretive behavior had only piqued my interest even more. They were clearly hiding something, and I wanted to find out what that was. I returned to my ship to grab the Stronghold Gunpowder Keg, hoping that would loosen their tongues. There are few things more devastating than one of these bad boys detonating on your ship, so this was my best chance. At this point, a big shout out to Rare and their patented fun detection algorithm that will always spawn some random AI enemies every time you're trying to do anything at all. I was out of food by the time I arrived at the ship, but it's not like I could survive this thing exploding anyway, so just arriving in one piece was good enough. I saw one of them in the water, so I jumped down with the keg to try and extort information out of him. He was smart enough not to shoot the keg to blow all of us into smithereens, but he also was not replying to my questions. If I can't get these guys to tell me what happened here, then my next best option was to steal their key. Hello. Hello. I hope that doesn't inconvenience you. Man, sometimes I forget just how powerful these kegs actually are. The explosion was so massive, it set off a chain reaction of other kegs exploding on the fort as well. At the end of that firework, I had successfully eliminated all three of us while also sinking the ship. But in my attempt to swim over, I had forgotten to raise the sail. My boat was further away from the fort than I would have liked, and this fight was not won until I had the key in my hand. Which of course meant that Rare decided to spawn their ship so close to where they sank that they could feasibly get there faster than me. Time was of the essence, I was not confident I could take on the both of them in open combat, so instead of sailing towards them, I let my ship float away while shooting myself towards the fort. But the wind was in their favor, and their vessel arrived mere seconds before I could get my hands on the loot. I needed to get creative. Despite the chain reaction of explosions that occurred, the second stronghold gunpowder keg miraculously survived, meaning I had a second go at this after all. Unfortunately, these guys had wisened up. They must have spotted me on the island because their ship tactically moved away as I was approaching. When I saw one of them in the water with me, I knew I had to get rid of this keg if I wanted to survive. When he predictably tried to blow me up with it, I was left with but a sliver of HP. I decided to continue firing instead of replenishing my health because I saw him desperately munch away as my bullets kept finding their mark. But I missed it just when it mattered the most. I made my last dance with the blunder bumps in my pocket, bobbing and weaving underwater until at last I had successfully taken him out. After taking a deep breath, I immediately dove down to the sinking loot in order to find the key, but it was nowhere to be found. These guys definitely knew their priority 
please. They must have taken it before I could catch up. And now their ship was too far away for me to board them. At this point, I was left with a tough choice to make. Do I go back to my ship to try and fight them on the open sea after all? Or do I stick it out on the ford for when they come back to reclaim their loot? I decided that seeing this through to the end was more important than saving my boat and that ended up being the right choice because mere moments later I got a notification that my ship had sunk. Chances are that I couldn't have saved it even if I tried, but now I needed a new vessel. A beat up rowboat would have to suffice as I loaded up whatever loot was left on the ford. But I couldn't stay here, clearly that key was important to them so I doubt they would come back to Kraken's watchtower after having seen an already opened vault. Since I didn't know where my ship would respawn, I decided to head on over to a neighboring sea fortress because these things had exactly exactly what I needed to make my next move. A map. A swift glance allowed me to spot these guys having made way for yet another fort. It seems likely that they were just as clueless about this as me, simply checking off every fort on the map to try and find one with a vault that was still closed. I made sure to keep track of their movement as I collected supplies off the fortress, supplies that I would definitely need if I tried to fight them since my ship had sunk. Wherever that key came from and whatever they are planning to do with that, I was not about to let them get away with it. My ship respawned just one island away from the fortress and the key had since been stationed at Galleon's Grave Outpost. I had a long way to go. I sailed through the night with a pit stop at the fortress to collect the supplies I prepared before making way for my final destination. But something was odd. As I got close to the outpost, it wasn't a sloop that was stationed there. It was a brigantine. What in the world was going on? The key was still at the outpost with their original owners nowhere to be seen. I decided to approach this mission stealthily. If they spotted me, they probably would have already set sail, so I left my ship on the other side as my mobile respawn point. But just as I was getting ready for combat... That's not good. Another Fort of Fortune had just spawned. Maybe that's what they were waiting for? Whatever the case may be, this keg and I had to hurry up if I wanted to have a chance at stealing their key before they left. But my stealthing attempt was uncovered. I needed to create distance to the keg to avoid being blown up with it. The only way to secure the sink was to defeat them on their ship first. With me being outnumbered, blunderbombs would be my best friends in trying to disrupt their crew and stop them from chopping me to bits. But they weren't stupid. They knew when to disengage and tag out of the 1v1, dealing a crucial blow that knocked me off the ship. Of course, I was trying to get back on but they had one heck of a sniper in their crew that needed to be dealt with first. My cocky attempt at out-sniping her only landed me another bullet in the noggin, meaning suddenly I was in trouble. It was only a matter of time until they found my ship and with me having given them a keg, getting rid of it would be extremely easy. I yeeted on over the instant I respawned to stop that from happening, but they were already on the move. Neither of us wanted to blow up the keg while fighting, well knowing it was a guaranteed ticket to sink one another's vessel. It seemed like the guy with the hat was not confident he could beat me in the 1v1 and instead playing ring around the rosy until their sniper came to the rescue. Painful as that decision was, I had to get rid of the keg to allow myself another shot at this fight. So I blew it up, taking out their best PvPer and myself in the process. I tried to question her in regards to the whereabouts of that key, but she expectantly refused to answer. I mean, why would she? She was kicking my butt. When I returned from the ferry of the damned, I was surprised that nobody was on my ship. It seemed like I had put fear into the heart of that crew when I took out their sniper, and that was bound to be their biggest mistake. I was done playing safe. I used my ship to take the fight to them and of course my number one priority was to make sure they can't run away. Despite me avoiding their broadside, their sniper kept getting me off the cannon with a level of precision that I had no choice but to respect. I had enough trouble trying to defeat her in close quarters, there was no shot I'd be able to win a duel over range. With enough damage on their ship to keep them busy, close quarters were still my best bet so I went to try and finish this fight. A couple firebombs should add to the chaos with me finding a great opportunity for an opening shot on their sniper. The board was secured and I was away waiting the lamps coming to get slaughtered. Their first one fell to my blade, but once again I found myself outplayed mere moments later. Lord knows that she would have defeated me under different circumstances, but her having to deadlift the entire crew while also trying to keep their ship afloat was ultimately what gave me the edge, coming out victorious with the power of my Wi-Fi blades. Only a single one of them was granted a backspawn, and since it wasn't their sniper, I had no trouble disposing of him with a GG leaving my lips at the end. Now here's what happened next. That key? It was not on their ship. It was hidden somewhere on the island and trust me, I was looking for the darn thing for about 45 minutes before giving up. I'm sure somebody more versed in the art of ratting would know whatever secret spot this key was dumped into, but unfortunately, this is where my journey ended. I never did end up finding out where that key came from and why it was there, making this one of the weirdest COT sessions I've had to date. If you're interested in more solo adventures, may I suggest my life in a solo slooper video? I feel like that one might be a bit more relatable than this one. You can find the card on screen right now. But until then, thank you 
everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to drop me a like on your way out if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more and definitely ring that bell icon to not miss out on my next upload. I hope you guys have a day filled with riches on the sea and until next time, peace.